This is the OBD Prog Moto 100 Universal Diagnostic Scan Tool. You plug it into your motorcycle and it shows you all kinds of data. The more sensors your motorcycle has, the more data it can show you and the more things you should be able to do with it. I'm Adrian from Your Motorcycle. I make videos for people who want to learn about motorcycling. In a previous video, I answered the question, have we entered the era of the Universal Motorcycle Diagnostic Scan Tool? Is this something that the average motorcycle DIYer should have? And what exactly can we do with this thing? In this video, I'm just going to be covering the five things that I actually love about it and the five things that I hate about it. The first thing that I love is that I have one tool for like five or six different brands. This thing will work for BMWs, Ducatis, Hondas, KTMs, Triumphs, and Yamahas. That's awesome. I, I love that if I plug it into this Triumph, I can take the same tool, bring it to my garage, and I can plug it into two of my BMWs. It's going to work. That's a win. The thing I hate though is for what's basically the exact same device, they make two different versions. One is their European version, which is the one I just told you about, and the other one is not here. It's the American version. That's going to cover Harley Davidson, Indian, Polaris, BRP, etc., etc. And if you're somebody who I was at the start of the season where I had a BMW and then I also had a Harley, that means that you would have to buy one $500 device for one motorcycle and one $500 device for the other motorcycle and suddenly it's not so universal after all. That really kills the value proposition for me. A thing I do like though is that amongst the brands that this thing can cover, I can use it with an unlimited amount of motorcycles. So if I'm helping out my friends, I don't have to worry about, oh no, I only have one or two registrations left. I can plug this into as many bikes as I want. I think that's awesome. Versus on some of the motorcycle specific tools, I'm looking at you, uh, GS911 for BMWs. I think you can only register about 10 different vehicles with it. After that, you have to buy more licenses. So yeah, no limits. I like that. But the flip side to that is that this tool is nowhere near as good as the specific tools. And that's the downside. You know, there's, there's a saying in the motorcycle industry, universal part, one size fits all equals one size fits none. And that doesn't totally apply here, but it kind of does. On the topic of being able to work with a bunch of different motorcycles, I like that this thing has a little diagram for every motorcycle I've plugged into where it shows me exactly where the diagnostic port is. I'm not having to take off fairings, having to take off all kinds of side covers, trying to figure out where the port is, wasting a bunch of time. I press a button, it shows me where the port is. I look, they're usually pretty easy to find. Boom, there it is. Thank you very much for the diagram. I like that. But not everything is super clear and easy because if you're thinking of the menus as like a series of flow chart, I can start here and then I got one or two options, I can work my way this way and whatever, you get sent back to the same screen a lot. And what's crazy is a lot of these YouTubers who were reviewing them, they didn't realize that they just kept getting sent back to the same menu. They thought they were progressing further along in their little journey of all of the menus. And it's like, no, you, you just kept getting sent back. It happens a lot. It's not clearly sort of explained. And maybe if you did have some sort of flow chart, it would be a lot better, but we don't have that. It's a bummer. You know where this thing does do really well, and that was another thing that I loved, is that I just said, you know what? I've seen everything I can do and can't do on motorcycles. Let me just try hooking up with my truck. And obviously my truck is gonna have way more sensors and stuff than a motorcycle would, but let me just tell you, when I plug this thing into my truck, I could not only see, but also do more with my truck with this tool than I could with all of the motorcycles I tested with combined. I'm happy that I can use it for more than just my bikes. That's a win. Unfortunately, if you're buying this as primarily a motorcycle specific tool, I'm assuming you are if you're watching my channel in this video, you might end up with a very expensive paperweight because this thing has some limitations for certain motorcycles. I've seen a lot of the other YouTubers saying you should definitely buy it. I think you should buy it to immediately test it. And then if you don't like it, send it back. I got affiliate links. However, if you do send it back, we don't get any affiliate commissions. It's not about that. It's literally just that for some motorcycles, it could be very, very helpful. For other motorcycles, it can't. If you watch my other video, you'll find even between the two different BMWs that I tested it on, even though they're very similar bikes, there was different sets of what I could and couldn't do. So really what I'm getting at is the success that you will have with this tool is going to depend largely on your specific motorcycle. I can't tell you whether or not it's going to be good for you. I suggest you buy it. You try it right away as soon as you get it. And if it just is not doing what you need it for, send it back right away, get all your money back. 
However, if this thing does work for you, there is a ton of data there. It can be very helpful with problem solving. You can trigger a lot of different things and see how it reacts. It also has some built-in tests, which is kind of cool. And there are also some features that are built into there too. Like this thing runs on Android, which is cool. You can have different software in there. Like you can have Adobe and you can put your service manuals in here and have everything stored in one thing. You don't have to bring up your cell phone. Or, and you can also have other tools like TeamViewer, which allows somebody from OBD Prog to literally connect to your machine if you give them a password and they can help you run diagnostics if you want to. And of course that's available at an extra charge. And that's where we get into the fifth thing that I hate, which is there is some hidden extras and some extra stuff that isn't well described. You have like a one year license when you buy this, which means you can update it for one year. So let's say you buy this and a couple years from now you buy a 2025 Ducati and it inevitably gives you some sort of electronics issue and you're thinking, I'm just gonna plug this into the device I bought in 2023, no problem. No, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna have the most upgrade firmware. You'll still be able to use this with your old bikes, just not with the new bikes that aren't in your current firmware that you have. And to update it, it's 80 bucks US. My issue is not with the 80 bucks US. That's their pricing, that is what it is. My issue is the fact that they don't disclose this easy to see publicly. I could not find this anywhere on their website. I only know this because I literally had to reach out to my contact at the company and say to them, hey, what happens after one year? Oh, you have to pay? Well, how much do you have to pay? If there's extra fees, if there's fees that a customer should get down the road, you gotta disclose that. So that's a thumbs down. I realize this is a pretty quick review of the Moto 100. If you wanna get really in depth with it, my previous video is gonna look at using four different functions across three different motorcycles that I hooked up to this device. And we'll go over just how successful I was or wasn't with the desired outcome I was trying to use it for. I'll link to that over here. Again, I'm Adrian from E-Motorcycle. I make videos that help motorcyclists. As always, thank you so much for watching. Ride safe, but have fun.